What is up everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial about making custom wheel art uh, for Hyperspin or any other kind of front end that you want to be using. Um, you're going to need a couple of prerequisitions before you do this. You're going to need the program which is Auto Custom which I'll put zipped up uh, to a mega link in the description and you're also going to uh, need ironically uh, the wheel art or you know uh, what I have here. Now we're going to look at doing the SNK Neo Geo Pocket Colour uh, there's about 40 games, I think, on it. Um, and I've downloaded these from uh, using Hypersync, uh, but you can get these off the internet. Now, one thing you must do is make sure that these names, the way it's named, is exactly the same as the way it's named for your ROMs and in your databases. Otherwise, these will not match up. Uh, if you get it from Hypersync and you've got no intro sets, then it won't be a problem whatsoever, okay? Um, so, once you've got those, uh, we're going to look at, as I say, just rejigging these and making it so it's more uniformed uh, and unified. Um, I'm gonna, just going to show you my Hyperspin so I can explain what I mean by that. So, if we boot Hyperspin up... Okay. Now, if you look at my title menu, or my main menu, you can see that it's kind of all unified um, with the square bridge border. Uh, if you go to say Nintendo, you can see it looks quite nice, it looks slick, it's clean, and I quite like it. Uh, so I've got a few missing there, but I think that's more of a naming issue. When you have 33,000 games, it's hard to make sure that everyone's named. And I do work as well. Uh, and just to give you another example, we've got Super Nintendo. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you get the idea there. So, we're going to look at the SNK Neo Geo Pocket Colour, wherever it is. There we go. And as you can see, it looks nice. And you must excuse my theme, it's stretched because I'm on a widescreen monitor and it's a standard definition kind of theme. Just not updated it yet. Well, edited it. But you can see there that they're just basically the game titles. Um, and we're going to make it a bit more uniform as we've just seen with the NES and the SNES. Um, so we're going to bang uh, that together right now for you. So if you download this, uh, it will be zipped, so unzip it and you'll end up with these three kind of files. You want to click on the EXE and you'll get this screen here. Um, two tabs at the top, you've got wheel and 3D. That's for boxes. We're not going to worry about the boxes. Um, we're just going to look at doing the wheels today. So we're going to start off here with the background and there are loads to choose from. Um, you can have pretty much what you want, but there are most systems on here already kind of have their own kind of uh, logos, if you like, backgrounds. So I'm going to go for the Neo Geo Pocket Colour. You can have anything you want though. Whatever tickles your fancy. So yellow, you know, there's loads. Um, so we said the Neo Geo Pocket Colour. There we go. Now the border. Um, again, you've got a variety of borders. You can choose what you like. I tend to go for the THK border. It's just my personal preference. Uh, the gloss. I don't actually like it. So I tend to go no gloss. Okay. Now, you can add a manufacturer's uh, logo on, but it does take some setting up. I'm not going to do that because I don't feel that I need to. Um, so, if I was doing the Neo Geo Pocket Colour, I'm just showing you this. It kind of comes there and you have to rejig it around a bit and it will come up where, where you want it. Okay. Uh, but for this, uh, for, my, for mine, I'm not going to uh, do that because I don't particularly want that on there. Wheel. Now, here's where the magic happens. What we have to do is we click on Wheel and we click on Add. We navigate to where our, our wheel art is already. So here's mine. It's already in the wheel in Hyperspin. Okay. Media. SNK Neo Geo Pocket. Not just Neo Geo Pocket. Images and wheel. And we just highlight the folder there. So I've selected my wheel in my Neo Geo Pocket. Okay. Yours may be somewhere else. You might have downloaded it to your desktop, so wherever you have downloaded it to. Oh, look at that. I made a mistake. Neo Geo Pocket. We need Neo Geo Pocket Colour. That could have been embarrassing. So, images and wheel. Okay. Let's take a second and it'll come up. Now, the great thing is here, you can actually preview it by just clicking on them. So, 
so you get the idea once we've done that and we're happy with that we can adjust the height now I'm going to keep it at that because mine's quite mine's widescreen um, some people might want to make it what um, the height uh, taller to make it look a little bit um, less stretched but I kind of like it at this size because most of mine are that size um, and that's about it and then we just press save list we navigate to where our folder will be for where we want to uh, save these now I'm going to just override these in that folder there and we want SNK Neo Geo pocket color images and wheel we'll click OK the magic will happen and you'll see these change can you see that change there fantastic okay um, and that's it it's done so if we boot up hyperspin you can have a look how it looks and as I say excuse my theme I've not updated it So there you go. That is how we make custom wheels uh, using a very simple program. Um, and what I'll do is I'll show you how to set custom themes as well in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. See you all soon.